Jacare, what's going on, man? What's up with this fight? Let's make this thing happen. Let's get this uh, done and over with. We were supposed to fight two times before. It was short notice. Now we got all the time in the world now. Uh, right now I'm number seven. You're number five. You lost your last fight. You're 0-4 in the top five. And I won my last fight, stopping a guy on a four-fight uh, knockout streak. You know, Dana White just said something about fighters trying to choose, uh, you know, fights that, that are good for them and bad for them. This ain't the place for you, you know what I mean? You have to make sure that you fight, you know? We got to get this thing going. I want the alligator. What's going on, man? Where's the alligator? Let's make this thing happen. UFC, let's make this thing happen. Mick, let's make this thing happen. We want the alligator. Or is this, is this full-time MMA now? Uh, I love full-time MMA right now. Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. I'm going to get me some gator. Whether anybody like it or not. Now this gator don't want to see me later. Then I had to get my own gator straight from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Let me get this sucker, man. Let me get him, man. Let me get him. Come on, man. Give him to me. And David Branch is not fucking around with the Jacare call out. Jacare, duck your motherfucking taco or get the strap or do both. Either way, David Branch wants Jacare and he's he's laying it all out there, man. First, he blasted it out there with these tweets. He said, I just wanted to be clear to everyone. I've been offered to fight Jacare, main event, August 22nd in Brazil. And now he's not feeling confident enough to take the fight. Then he went on and tagged everyone in the media except for me. He continued to say, David Branch um, on Twitter continued to say, officially we were being told by the UFC that the man who calls himself the alligator has been neutered. Jacare has declined to fight in his homeland. And now just that on face value looks bad. It's like, for one though, to be fair to Jacare, normally fighters don't blast a motherfucker when they turn down a fight you know it might be for different reasons it might be political it's not necessarily because they're scared of you or because they're ducking you but when you just plaster it out there on social media that's what the fans think like oh jock ray's turning down a fight with the guy ranked one spot under him in his hometown why would he do this and so jock ray's manager had to come out and say listen yeah, but David Branch already turned us down before, so now we're turning him down. What's the big deal? He turned us down twice. But David Branch responded with the video that you saw in the beginning uh, to those claims and said, yeah, it was on short notice, but now we got all the time in the world. I want to train really hard for you. David Branch is kind of scaring me with some of this shit. I'm not going to lie. He sounds like a, a man on a mission. He really wants to fuck Jacare up for some reason. I don't know if it's personal or business, but David Branch, I'm, I'm getting excited for his next fight just from how he's approaching this call out. Because after Jacare's manager came out and said, yeah, but he turned us down twice, David Branch didn't stop. He got relentless with it. My nigga started doing a media tour. He was on the Luke Thomas show talking about this. I don't know what's going on with Jacare. But I want the fight. Jacare, I'm gonna train really hard for you. Like he he sounded like a serial killer low-key, David Branch. I'm like, okay, I see you, David Branch. And then he took it a step further with the video you also saw at the beginning of this clip. He ordered alligator meat, bro. He fucking ordered alligator meat, bro. He said, I'm tired of this imitation shit. I want the real alligator, the real Jocker Ray. If you don't know Jocker Ray, he is the alligator. Every time he comes out, I mean, if he gets you in his clamps, it's kind of like you're in the jaws of an alligator. His jujitsu is so fucking fierce. He gets you down to that ground. You're essentially in the jaws of an alligator. You're out of there. You don't want to go to the ground with Jocker Ray. And so if David Branch were to take this fight, he would probably try to keep it standing. That's where the nickname the alligator came from because Jocker Ray is so deadly on the ground but with that being said this is a fight that i would love to see partly because david branch's call outs this is adding a whole another aspect to it and it's in jacare's hometown now 
at first when Jacare's manager came out and said, yeah, but he already turned us down twice. I was like, oh, David Branch, ain't this whack? How you gonna turn someone down twice? And now, now you feel like you're ready to fight him. And so you're plastering out on social media, making it look like they're scared of you when you already turned down this fight. But David Branch, as I said, revealed that that was on short notice. Now, all of this comes full circle for me. I don't want to make this talking part too long on this video. Um, the real content comes in the video clips you saw in the beginning and then the one I'm about to play at the end. Because these call outs sound good and they're entertaining and they're funny, David Branch. And I hear you and all. And I know you really want this Jacare. But Jacare is one of the most dangerous middleweights of all time. And with that being said, be careful what you wish for. Because you might be calling out the alligator and he might snap back. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys with this video. And, and it's just a little... Um, maybe a, a message from the MMA gods to David Branch that this clip just happened to go viral as he's calling out the alligator. Across the street, it was path. It was, yeah. The path's about 12 foot wide. You ever been down to Shark Valley? No. Um, That's a great ride. And there, it's a pathway through, you know, part of the Everglades there. And they got, there's gators everywhere. And they'll be on the road and I literally have to get off the Ooh, he's coming back. Ooh. And before we go, shout out to all the full-time MMA white belts that have hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to become a full-time MMA blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, or black belt, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash full-time MMA. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.